We're now in the rather magical sounding salt crystal room. We're surrounded by these quite shallow trays that seem to be steaming. Um, this looks absolutely magical in here, David. What is happening? This is, this is magical. This is my kitchen. This is the exciting bit. And what we're going to do and what you're seeing is we're taking the concentrated seawater, the very strong brine, and we're putting it in these trays with a wow. special little hose like this. So this is straight from the sea because we is, are really close to the yeah, sea. It's been filtered and concentrated and if you think of clouds can only hold so much moisture and then it's got to start raining. We've done the same thing with seawater. We've got it as much salt as we can in a liquid and then we put it in these shallow trays and we mix it thoroughly and I'm going to do our secret uh, galaxy swirl if I pick up the thing we swirl with. So um, what's the uh, secret galaxy swirl, swirl then, David? Well, we want to make sure that this brine is really well mixed. So there's a, a shape we follow around like this. So what would happen if you just mixed it round and round in a circle like you would your, say, if you're making a, a big soup or something, just um, in you, a pot? Well, for us, you might get the salt forming at the edges, but not all over. So when we've done it, and it takes three months to learn how to make salt, so we've got it all mixed up, and then we're going to jump forward to the next one. It's going to stay really quiet, really shallow, with a little bit of heat, and then after one day, it looks like this. Wow. Now, look, come and I see can this. I feel bit. the heat coming from this, yep. this heater here. So a secret swell, some heat, and then this is what we have. And this is what it looks like after a day. And if I just put my... The salt has changed from being in a liquid to being a solid. Wow. And, and you can see that that is a flaky crystal. And we hope you'll have done some experiments that might show this, but that can come later. Wow, so I can see there's little flakes of salt on the top, yep. but once they get heavy, do they sink to the bottom? Yep, there's something called surface tension. They get bigger and then they sink. And it doesn't look like there's very much here. But if I now harvest some, and we put this special food implement in, and you can see wow. what, in that <laughs> one day, there's the magical result. It looks like snowflakes, doesn't it? It does. You can see it sparkling. Wow. You can see the water coming off. Let me just grab that one. Looks huge. Oh, look at that. 